It has now been almost a full week since 24-year-old Shuruf Hatso Musida stunned the judges and won the hearts of the nation as she claimed the coveted title of Miss South Africa 2020. She joins us again here on the show as part of what I would imagine has been a whirlwind victory tour as she steps into this pivotal role during an important time in the world's history, not just South Africa. Shuruf, thank you so much. The crown is so now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to focus, but uh, it must be such a joy to to wear that. I hope my, was my Venda pronunciation okay? Yes, you did. That's well. right. Because yeah. now you know you represent Venda, you represent South Africa, you yeah. represent every young black girl in the country right now. The pressure on that must be immense. Not only that, you have chosen to make mental health in disadvantaged communities your main driver. I'm going to give you that platform right now to tell us why that is so important to you and was in terms of you building your own campaign. I read an interesting stat that said one in three people in this country are expected to suffer from mental health in their lifetime. Wow. Only one in ten of those people have access to mental health care. <laughs> um, currently, uh, suicide is the leading cause of death for, for, for people between age 15 and 29. So I think it's an important issue that we need to engage with in our society and it all starts with a simple conversation. But that conversation is considered a taboo in our society where it is often engaged with not to rehabilitate our society but rather to shame. Like you mentioned, we're living through a pandemic. Yeah. Um, and, and, and now people have lost their jobs, they've lost loved ones, livelihoods. Uh, they've lost almost everything. And we were locked up for five months. Our, our society needs to heal. Uh, and the only way to heal our society is through mental health um, conversation and mental health awareness by rebuilding it from a place of compassion and kindness, telling people that it's okay to not be okay, it is okay to seek help, and that's where I come in. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I, I'm, I'm a proud advocate for mental health in the country as well, so I can mm -hmm. certainly relate. Winning this title now mm -hmm. is different to any other year. You've got that in the bag over every other Miss South Africa that's ever been. As you've, you've won this title during the strangest year, mm -hmm. undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. How are you going to use this platform and what changes, adjustments are you finding you're having to make to engage with your fans now? Is it all social media now? or How, how are you wrapping your head around your reign in this pandemic? I think 2020 has been quite an interesting year because when it started, people were saying 20 plenty <laughs> only for us for to sure. not be able yeah. to do anything at all. But in terms of using, using this platform, like you said, for mental health awareness, I think us even engaging in the conversation on mainstream media is actually a great place to start because it all starts with a simple conversation. So it's all about being innovative and using this, the platforms that we have because COVID has propelled us in a space where we have to move digital. Eventually, the world was going to get there, I believe. Sure. Now we just had to get there fast and then press fast forward, yeah. Press fast forward. <laughs> so it's about being innovative and, and actually getting to a place where we use the, the platforms that we have in order to make a change in our society. I think you saw with the Miss Essay finale how we had to pre record some things, but the show had to go on. And that's what's going to happen during my reign. The show has to go on. Yeah. How many new Instagram followers do you have? <laughs> I gained 100,000 in less than 24 hours, and now I'm on 180-something. Oh, my word. From 48. And this so is in the first cool. week. This oh, my word. Uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Yes, that's sir. insane, man. <laughs> well, I'm so glad because so many, I, I think, young girls, but any South African is going to draw inspiration, and boy, don't we need it this year. Yeah. You talk about drawing inspiration. Names like Anele, mm. uh, Peggy Sukumalo, Zozi mm. was there, Kimi Engelbrecht, an incredible selection of powerful, empowered mm. women sending the right kind of message. What was it like to be able to be surrounded by people like that as you're about to now embark on this? Because over that time, you didn't know for sure. I'm sure you were confident. But mm -hmm. how much inspiration do you draw from powerhouse women like that that you get to see the example and connect with? I think when the judges were announced, we, all, we were all so excited because it's like, oh, my God. You know, and then you sit in front of Anele, and she's such a powerhouse. She's like a sister, you it's know. Cool, eh? She's like a sister. She always like you always want to be better around her, but she makes you laugh, she makes you feel confident, she makes you want to be you. And then you sit in front of Mampegusu Kumalo. That was an inspiration of mine because the reason one of the reasons I entered was because of her story. She's the representation of access to opportunity through this pageant, you know? And then Zozi, when she said, see your face reflected in mine, that's the reason I'm sitting here. For I sure. saw my face reflected in hers and I decided to enter Miss South Africa and now I get to walk through the door that she opened. So sitting in front of all those women, Liandi, Kim, um, it, was, it, was, it was beautiful because you get to not only see how it feels like to be empowered, but you get to be empowered by their energy. So I think it was a great selection, selection uh, of judges because Phenomenal, all of yeah. us got to see what it, what it looks like to use this platform. Past, present and future. Basically. Uh, I love that. Mm. Your future. Mm. 
you know, you've still got a few weeks of kind of whirlwind madness to, to navigate. Mm. But when things subside a little bit and you get to really sink your teeth into this ambassadorship as you've identified it, what are you most looking forward to about being Miss South Africa? I don't want to look at Our Miss South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I think just getting a, an opportunity to live a life of service. Funny enough, ever since I was eight years old, I wanted to live a life of service. I dreamt, I dreamt of this house or this haven uh, with white walls and a blue roof where women and children could come in and get the help that they need, but not only get humanitarian assistance, but be equipped with the necessary skills for them to become agents of their own future. I think a platform like this makes those dreams a reality. Then it seemed like, oh my God, this is such a pretty dream. But now it gets to be like a reality because I get to have access to many stakeholders around the world, you know? I get to possibly live my dream of working working with the UN, uh, an organization like the UN, to make sure that um, women especially, uh, and then children get, um, um, get uh, their positions in society, get a seat at the table, especially when important conversations are being had. You're doing it right now. <laughs> I, I, it seems to be just a, an intuitive grasp of the role. Yeah. Uh, and you've only started to learn. I know that you're going to have the most phenomenal year of reign. Thank you. But I'm going <laughs> to give you the same advice because I'm, I'm really old and I, I've <laughs> known many Miss South Africans over my, my years. And I would say as much as, yes, this is about a life of service, take yeah. a moment to recognise what you've achieved mm. and validate that, yeah. but also just to enjoy it. Enjoy this it. is one year of your life, girl, and you want to savour every second of it because it's going to be probably the best year of your life, let's I was be actually honest. getting a lot of messages um, before the show, actually. A lot of people that were supporting me, they were like, we support you, we believe in you, but please do us all a favour, enjoy it. Yeah. Those are the messages I, I was receiving even before I, was, I, I won. They're like, please enjoy it, please enjoy it. And I decided, you know what, let me take the advice. I decided to enjoy it and four days before the show, all the nerves went away. I couldn't understand why. I just focused on enjoying it and being in the moment. And it was one of the best moments of my life. Now, every single time when the clip is replayed, like when they say <laughs> the winner is Shudupad Zomusita, like I smile because I remember how happy I was and how much I enjoyed it. So I will make it a point to enjoy this rain because it is something that I believe is a once in a lifetime opportunity, like you're saying. It's a gift and a responsibility, and a but responsibility. one you are ready for. Yeah. Um, you've been gracious, you've been lovely, and you're gorgeous as well. It's been so nice to, to connect you. with you on a, on a personal level, albeit as briefly as this. Hopefully we'll get many times to help yeah. you put out there what you want to put out there because yeah. this is your year and I know you're going to grasp it with both hands. Thank you um, so But good luck much. with Thank the you. craziness <laughs> that's going to follow. Um, an unbelievable opportunity to see the best side of this country and I think it's now understandable uh, the fire of the nation in her heart undoubtedly and our pride at her back. We cannot wait to witness what this incredible young woman is going to achieve as our Miss South Africa 2020.